Welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue discuss 1.3 electric potential. Electric potential is defined as the work done in bringing positive discharge from infinity to the point in the electric field per unit discharge. So we can write equations V equals to work done per positive discharge where electric potential is a scalar quantities and the unit is in volt or we can write it as joule per coulomb eh? because it's work per discharge so we can write it as joule per coulomb but usually we will write it as volt okay capital V okay next define and explain equal potential surface eh? equal potential meaning that same Okay, and the surface of an isolated charge in a uniform electric field. So, equal potential line and surface is defined as the surface where all the points on the surface that have the same electric potential. So, for example, here I have A, B, and C. Okay, so which point they have the equal potential? Okay, so if you refer back, from the point charge, huh? this is the point charge, positive point charge where the electric field is acting outward. Okay, so this is the electric field is acting outward because of positive point charge. Okay, and here we have point A, point B, and point C. Uh, point A and point B, if you refer back, their radius actually are same. Okay, so we notice that actually the potential at point A is equal to potential at point B. So this one we call it as equal potential. Whereas for C, the radius here is uh, a little bit uh, further. So it's actually not equal to potential at point C. So meaning that we are referring to the radius, uh, the radius from the point charge. If the radius are the same, meaning that they are equal potential. Okay. Okay, next, if this is a uniform electric field produced by infinite sheet. Okay, for example, let's say here, this is actually a case for parallel plate. Okay, parallel plate where uh, the electric field from left moving to the right. So, we notice that actually uh, the plate on the right hand, left hand side is actually a, a positive plate because the electric field is come up from the positive plate and enter to the negative plate okay so this is actually a parallel plate case okay next we refer back to a b and also c okay so similar if you refer to the radius from the positive plate okay uh, so this is the radius uh, this is the line Okay, where A and B, their distance, uh, the distance from the positive plate actually are same. So similar, VA, the potential at point A is actually equal to potential at point B, but it's not equal at point C eh, because point C is already further away. Okay, so this is what we mean equal potential. Equal potential meaning that they have the same uh, potential. Okay, next we will go to... Uh, B. Okay, B, the dash line represents the equal potential line. Huh? This is the dash line. Okay, where just now I already draw, this is the dash line. Okay, similar for B, A. Also, this is the dash line where A and B are in the same uh, radius. The equal potential surface or line always perpendicular to the electric field line passing through them. The electric field point in the directions of decreasing electric potential okay decreasing electric potential because our equation okay v is equal to kq over r okay so this is for point charge so when uh, radius is increasing our electric potential is reducing okay so as i mentioned just now VA is actually equal to VB but not equal to VC because VC are the radius and the distance from the point charge and also the positive plate are, are different with A and B. Okay, next. Then the work done to bring a test charge from A to B is given. VBA is equal to the test charge times the potential difference between A and B. Therefore, there is no work done. Okay, why there is no work done? Because 
there's uh, because of the equal potential okay from a to b the v a actually equals to vb therefore there's no work done to bring the test charge from a to b so no work done is no work is done uh, moving a charge along an equal potential surface okay okay next we will continue with the uh, v a point charge and the system of the charge uh. okay so here we have the equation where work done is equal to kq over r okay then the equation of the electric potential we can write as because we notice that our v is equal to work done over q so we cancel off the test charge therefore the electric potential equation v is equal to k q q is a point charge over r okay electric potential is a scalar quantity so, so from v we must only uh, we don't need to consider the direction okay we only consider the magnitude so the resultant electric field is equal to the algebraic sum of the individual potential the electric potential of a charge of the infinity is is zero uh, meaning that v at infinity is equal to zero uh, because our v is equal to k q over r if r is at infinity meaning that your v is zero because already away from the point charge okay since charge q can be positive or negative the electric potential can also be positive and negative in the calculation of v the sign of the charge must be substituted in the equation okay so remember for v we must substitute positive negative into the equation okay you must substitute inside because negative positive here indicate that the electric potential whether it's positive or negative okay and this is a scalar quantities okay so meaning that here negative positive here shows the magnitude okay uh, but for f and e last time uh, for chapter subtopic 1.1 and 1.2 the sign for the charge we don't need to substitute because the sign of the charge actually indicate the direction eh, because that one is a vector quantities but for v v is a scalar quantity scalar quantity positive negative here indicate that the electric potential whether it's positive or negative eh, doesn't shows the direction okay next we continue with calculate potential difference between two points okay so electric potential difference between two points is defined as the work done in bringing a positive test charge from a point to another point in the electric field so we can write it as our v a b is equal to work done b a over test charge okay or we can write it as our work done is equal to test charge times delta v okay so usually this one we can write it as delta v okay and this delta v is actually v final minus v initial okay so if let's say you were bringing uh, b to a b to a meaning that our v final is v a minus v b okay so important thing is you must know that our delta v here is v final minus v initial okay so these are the uh, things that you need to know okay so if let's say it bring from b to a so it's v a minus v b if let's say it from a bring to b okay so final will be v b minus v a okay so if you substitute the test charge into the um the potential electric potential we will get our work done is actually also equal to the change of the potential energy okay so u is actually potential energy okay okay next if the positive test charge moving from a to b turns the potential difference between this point is given by okay if let's say the potential uh, you bring the test charge from a to b okay so meaning that our delta v is v final minus v initial okay so from a 
from point A you bring to point B so V B is the final uh, potential so we take V B minus V A so this is the potential difference okay or we can write it as our work done is equal to test charge time delta v okay remember delta v here must be v final minus v initial okay so so this is how you can find the work done in bringing the positive test charge from one point to another point okay so let us continue with the next video we will discuss on the example for the potential difference and the electric potential okay see you guys bye